and good morning. How does Babylon end? Our reading today is from Jeremiah 51, verses 34 to 40. Let's read. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, has devoured me. He has crushed me. He has made me an empty vessel. He has swallowed me up like a monster. He has filled his stomach with my delicacies. He has spit me out. Let the violence done to me and my flesh be upon Babylon. The inhabitant of Zion will say, and my blood be upon the inhabitants of Chaldea, Jerusalem will say. Therefore, thus says the Lord, behold, I will plead your case and take vengeance for you. I will dry up her sea and make her springs dry. Babylon shall become a heap, a dwelling place for jackals, an astonishment and a hissing without inhabitant. They shall roar together like lions. They shall growl like lions' whelps. In their excitement, I will prepare their feasts. I will make them drunk that they may rejoice and sleep a perpetual sleep and not awake, says the Lord. I will bring them down like lambs to the slaughter, like rams with male goats. So you can read about the end of literal Babylon in Daniel chapter 5. The city is surrounded by the army of the Medes, and inside the leaders are having a drunken party, drinking wine from the goblets that they took from the temple in Jerusalem when they overran that in previous years. So it is, it is a big fat party, and they're feeling fat and happy and just fine because, hey, we're in Babylon. Our place is impregnable. We have walls out here, you know, and so that's the attitude. So now the Euphrates River actually runs through the, through the middle of the city of Babylon, and there are iron gates that the water flows through, and what do the Medes do? Well, upstream, they divert the river, and then the troops are able to come in under through where the riverbed was, and that's how they invade and take Babylon. Very clever, and uh, did catch them by surprise as they were in their drunken party. And that very night, the king of Babylon dies, just as, just as prophesied here by the prophet Jeremiah. And our text prophesied. What did he say? Verse 39, In their excitement I will prepare their feasts. I will make them drunk that they may rejoice and sleep a perpetual sleep. Well, yeah, the king of Babylon didn't wake up the next day. And in the same passage here, God says, I'm going to plead your case. I will execute vengeance for you. Now, in the end time, Babylon is drunk again. This is spiritual Babylon. In Revelation chapters 17 and 18, talk about that. And there's three references in those two chapters that speak of Babylon's end time drunkenness. And what she drunk on? She's drunk on the power she has over the bodies and souls of men. End time Babylon is drunk with abominations, drunk with uh, the power that it exercises over people. And it's drunk with false doctrine. And there comes a time for Babylon to be ended. There comes a time when Babylon is threshed. It's all done, and God will finish this. And the world will go into a totally different place than it's been before. We'll be in a place where all this error now is exposed and clarified and dealt with, and there's no more questions. Imagine it where we would be today in this world uh, if we had absolute clarity on some of the things that we have questions about today, things that have happened about about the pandemic or about the elections or whatever? What if we had absolute clarity on that? The world will have absolute clarity on the abominations, the controlling of men, and the false teachings of Babylon on this day. And it's not a day, I think, far away at all. I don't think so. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, it seems fitting to ask how we might be drunk because it's often true that we think we know one thing and we don't know the facts really so well after all. Please, you be our guide. Help us with the Bible so that we are taken away from Babylonian confusion and shown the truth that we need for this hour in earth's history. I know you've given it to us and I know it's in the Bible. So bless us with your truth. Draw us close to the heart of Jesus. And this is our prayer this morning as we begin this day. And we thank you, Lord, for hearing our request. We ask for it, not because of us, but because of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So Babylon ends in a drunken party, and her power over the bodies and souls of men is broken. Her control and of, of people is taken away, reveling in false teachings and abominations. That's all ended. It all goes away. God wins. In the meantime, live this day with God on your side, and God be with you this day.